Hello, everybody. I am going to share my practice session with you. This is the A chord that you're familiar with. And here, here is the major third. And here's the minor third. So major and minor. Change from major to minor with a single note, the third. That even just sounds like blues all by itself, right? A blues lead is uh, primarily minor, but uh, it, it works out well to throw a, a few major licks in, but you have to be very careful about deciding when one will fit and when it won't. Here's an A7. Now I hammer on the flat third to the third. Now aside from that, I'm in the pentatonic scale. You play this shape for minor. Take it back three frets. And it is a major. Now where people get confused is when you're playing a minor here, in order to make it sound like a minor, you need to come back and land on the first minor third and fifth of the chord. There's three notes in the chord. So even on a pentatonic scale, you can make it sound really, really bad if you keep going. <laughs> you know, it's like. But if you repeat that often enough, people will go, yeah, he's on to something. That was the minor. And here's where people get confused. In order to drop this pattern back three frets and to not only make it ma sound major, you have to remember that now we're de dealing with the first, third, and fifth A. So when you're back here, keep in mind these three notes here. See, that's the A, but you can go. go down to, to the A note. Instead of starting here for the pattern, start on the A root note. Now that one thing right there, I will be willing to bet that it's worth more than most people paid for this lesson. Never mind that the lesson was free. If you actually paid for this lesson, you would have gotten your money's worth just now with that one little thing. Okay, so I will play a lead that uh, goes from minor to major. We are doing the major type of thing. Now this is from the first lesson when I'm doing the flat five. Now listen to going to the Dorian. The techniques that I've shown in this series of lessons each create a particular type of melody associated with the scale. You can't use these together effectively without some thought. In other words, during the verse, if you change from major to Dorian, your ear won't adjust to the melody. It will sound like a mistake. Primarily change to a different scale when you move from verse to chorus or chorus to the turnaround. 
it's more likely to sound pleasing to the ear. I mentioned turnaround. Now, what is a turnaround in blues? Well, it's very much as what the name implies. You are finishing the progression and turning it around and starting at the beginning again. Do the turnaround on the fifth. It ends the progression. And there's all kinds of cool uh, phrases that you can use. Like one of them that I always loved was uh, in Stormy Monday. Okay. Notice that I end on an A. An A, I'm sorry, that's not an A, that's an E. And the, the last chord in the progression is an E. An E ninth. It's another interesting thing about blues. Ninths, you can start a half step flat. Now let's say you have been primarily playing minor. Now you want to work your way into playing something major. So in the turnaround, now instead of going to the E ninth, play. And then you can carry on into the verse with something like that to give it a major sound. And then you could actually play the whole verse. And it also works pretty well with. And by the way, if you like this type of thing, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment.